Hello, Ros Wade here, Learning Officer at the Museum of Zoology, and I have exciting pond watch news. Newts! I've seen three, possibly even four, in the pond this afternoon. I've also got reports of some amazing beasties discovered in the ponds of other members of the museum team. So let's get started. This was my first glimpse of a newt this year. Missed it? Let's watch it again in slow motion. Keep an eye on the far left of the screen. There! I've been watching the newts quite a bit this week, and here are just a few clips. They are really well camouflaged against the bottom of the pond. They're easier to spot when they move. Okay, let's play Spot the Newt. Did you see it? Here it comes to the surface. Newts are amphibians, and as such they can take up oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide through their skin. But our newts still have lungs, and come to the surface to take a gulp of air every now and then. A bit of patience needed for this one. How many newts can you see in this clip? I think I can count three. What about you? Can you see how they swim using undulations of their body and tail? I've also spied them using their legs to walk across the bottom of the pond. When in the water, newts feed on things like insect larvae, water snails and tadpoles. I think this may solve the mystery of our disappearing tadpoles. I've only seen a couple this week. Newts are generally more active at night, so a good way to spot them is to scan the edges of your pond using a torch after dark. You may have noticed in my videos lots of pond skaters. The pond's been buzzing with them this week. Pond skaters are so called because they look as if they're skating across the surface of the water. How do they do this? Their legs are covered in tiny water resistant hairs that trap air and make the insect more buoyant. They use the surface tension of the water to walk across it. Actually, it's more like rowing, using the long middle and back pairs of legs, the shorter front legs being used to capture their insect prey. Now on to some of the aquatic finds of other members of the museum team, starting with our collections manager, Matt Lowe, and what he's seen this week in his garden pond. Here we have a back swimmer or water boatman. Now these long legs really are like oars, helping it to swim upside down under the water's surface. Back swimmers are predators, feeding on small invertebrates and tadpoles, and could even give you a nasty nip if you get too close. Matt also found this waterless, a freshwater crustacean related to things like wood lice. And a leech. This delicate looking creature is a mayfly larva. And Matt also saw near his pond an adult damselfly emerging from its final molt. Now to some of the aquatic wildlife spotted by Dr. Richard Priest, our curator of malacology. That's mollusks to you and me. Here we have a giant pond snail. See how it has a pointed shell? Quite different to the flat spirals of the ram's horn snails I showed you last time. And here, of course, some lovely tadpoles. So that's all for Pondwatch this week. I'm going to leave you with a final newty clip and I'll see you again soon.